Now, honey, this is your turn. Thank you. Followed by Carolyn Terranova. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm here tonight because I believe that live music spontaneously played is one of the best spiritual medicines available to us for free at any time that we choose to engage in it. I was at one time medicated for things like depression. And um, when I found the community of people on the streets of the cities and towns of this beautiful, wonderful nation, planet, um, that I found the medicine that I had been seeking. And um, so I go and play my drums or sing or dance with uh, all kinds of different people and feel completely safe in almost any downtown area at any time of day or night um, because I found community with people there who really need community, who really need people who trust them, who need spiritual medicine like live, spontaneous music. I grew up here in Olympia. I went to Garfield and Jefferson, um, after which I moved to Spokane. And um, I remember riding the bus when I was a little girl, because we did that. And it, the people who hung out downtown weren't any scarier then than they are now. Um, and I remember it being a colorful, musical kind of a place. Um, I came back to Olympia about a year ago, a little over a year ago, uh, when I was pregnant with my son, and I came back with my partner, and we began playing our drums on the streets of Olympia. Um, sadly, we've experienced two run-ins with the police downtown. Uh, we have both uh, dealt with a disorderly conduct issue last fall, um, and we have now dealt with uh, pedestrian interference, and it's been hugely disruptive to my family's, my new family's life. Um, as you can imagine. I don't think that people who are truly interested in the health and well-being of the citizens of our towns and cities should be punished for bringing live, spontaneous, spiritual medicine to people who sorely need it. Thank you. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Up next is Carolyn Terranova, followed by Strife.